Okay, this review is going to be on a converter software I use all the time. It's the Exley Soft Video Converter 3. That will be showing right up here. So I'm going to click on that. opens up the program you cannot convert a uh, flash video with the software I tried to upload a flash video video in here and it just gives you durate um, duration zero zero and no target you can see what I'm talking about just um, duration would be zero 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 type would be you know F LV for flash video and there would be nothing really for target and the status will say fail just to give you an idea on what video I tried to convert and can't use everything else is good for so basically I don't use these up here these tabs like file edit view tools or help just give you an idea I done a video today you might have seen it or not I posted already it's the uh, skyscraper from Samsung i85 this is a WMV format you just take it and drag it in here like so and it shows you duration two minutes type WMV and it gives you not the same target now over here you can make some adjustments once you highlight this it's highlighted you can make a lot of changes over here but I don't want to waste time on this video on these you can change everything from the video codec video size biz rate frame rate and same quality is false disable video you have a lot of choices of doing with this software right here once you upload a video that can be converted then you can play around with it down on the bottom you have the profile video that will give you indications of all these formats you can convert to so you guys can look them over you got everything from Apple TV to MPEG, AVI, Blackberry phone, iPhone, iPod, iTouch, QuickTime MOV, MPEG 2, MPEG 3, MPEG 4, you guys, okay, you got, that's the end of the list, you got X video, you got stuff for Zune, I guess media players, PSP, you got a lot of stuff here. And then once you find one, say click on this, it will show you which one you picked. Your zoom can be either, I keep mine at letter letterbox, but you have all these other. You got medium, pan and scan, and so on. You have over here, you can change megabytes. You can browse and save your movie wherever you like I keep mine on desktop then I hit OK and the movie will be saved on my desktop you can open the desktop and other programs where your movies may be you can also highlight this and play a video back this function only purpose quality okay oh there it is Let me turn up the volume. You ain't gonna hear nothing. Just a skyscraper going by. And my radio. And cars going by. No, this is a really good software. I bought it. 
I bought the download. Let me turn this down. I bought the download about a, two years ago in 2007. And for an extra couple of dollars, I got the software included. So I was able to download, use it right away, and then get my the CD in the mail, and then uninstall it from being downloaded and put the original software in it. Well, you got a lot of options with the software. Got a lot of changes, too. I'm going to give you an example. Well, oh, I don't want to do it now. Well, let's see. If I just clear this out. Oh, yeah, you got these tabs here. Instead of drag and drop, you can add. You can remove. You can clear your list. Like by doing so. This means convert and code once you have whatever video in here. You click on this and it starts starts converting. You got pause option and a stop. That's about it for the software. So let me give you a little demonstration on some of the things that you can do with this. Meaning, you can change. Say you want to change your video size, which I've done in the past. I make mine at 640 by 480 mean an indication as when your video is that size for YouTube you notice you have a HQ tab to click on that's for high quality 640 by 480 is consider high quality playback on YouTube I love using that format plain old 320 by 240 which you notice maybe not in there but basic ones are 320 by 240 which are not playback in high quality let's go back to the other setting other stuff you can do with this let's see frame rate maybe can be changed to 30 now it stays there see now your buff size you can probably change that manually it gives me no drop down biz rate no I'm gonna say bit rate you can drop down it click on the tab and you have 1200, 1500, 2000, 2500, 3000. I don't mess with them. Level, whatever that is, I don't mess with that. You got all those numbers, whatever that would be for. Okay, that's done. Let me clear this out. Put this back in here again. Let me go down. Let me go down here. Pick my favorite for now, which would be. Up here now, WMV. You can see WMV there. You can see it up here. For some reason it says PSP movie. We start the program. Okay. Got rid of that other business. Go on here. Go to video size. And I'd, like I told you. The original size of the videos that I upload are automatically 320 by 240. But then like I said, you just click on here and drop down to 640 by 480 is high quality playback on YouTube. This one I haven't never tried yet. This size, 720 by 576. I may try that sometime. I'm up to over half of 8 minutes, going on 9 minutes in a few more seconds. I think I covered the software the best way I can. Any questions, get back to me, leave in the comments. Please visit the video Converter Software website. Consider it is XLE Soft. Right there. Just type in this word here, xilisoft.com, and it'll take you to the website. Thanks for watching. Like I said, any questions, um, leave them. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You do not have to rate this movie review or, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to rate this this review at all. It's just for software purposes. That's all it's for. So, until next time, take care and bye.